Hello everyone, how is everyone doing? It is Oxnum Gaming 8 here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And also, welcome back to some more of my Gotham Knights Heroic Assault series, which is a series where I play through all of the flaws in the Gotham Knights Heroic Assault. So if you remember in the previous video, we played floor 15, which was our third reckoning floor, and our fourth regulators floor, and the fourth floor to use Batgirl. And it looks like in today's video, we are going to be playing floor 16. Which is, I think, our sixth regulator's floor. And also, the fourth floor, where we're going to be using Jason Peter Todd, aka Red Hood. Who is my favourite Robin, if you remember. So if you're at any point in joy, or if you'd like to see this series continue, which I hope you do, then do consider dropping a like on this video, and also if this is your first time watching the channel, do consider subscribing and turning on all the notifications if you have not done so already, so that you cannot miss my future uploads on this game, which is going to be every weekday at 3pm British time, and subscribing is a brilliant way to help me reach 200 subscribers. Which I very much appreciate, assuming as that's my next sub goal. And also, did you know that only 10% of you who watch my vids are actually subscribed? So if you do me a big favour, if you're part of the 90% that is not, and subscribe to become part, to become part of the 10% that is, then I'd very much appreciate that. <clears throat> so anyway, let's get into this. So floor 16's recommended power is 9,400, its faction is Freaks, and there are 7 hidden chests available. Alright, and thank you all so much for the lum support on the previous videos on this game, but we've got floor to play, so let's get into this. Alright, and this is not a reckoning floor, because it, it is a floor that does not end with 5 or 0. Basically, if you do not know, a, a reckoning floor ends with 5 or 0 in this game. Yeah. Alright, defeat enemies using ranged attacks. This should be pretty easy. Oh, nice. Right in there. Using guns as Red Hood. Pretty easy task, if you think about it. And also, if you remember the fear symbol, which is the which is the ghost face icon above the enemy's heads, basically indicates that they're scared and that they'll run away from the situation and not return. Not gonna lie, this probably has to be my favourite song in the entire game if I had to choose one. I don't know, I just like the upbeat to it. I'm just listening to it, you know, just because it's such a good song, you know. Right, defeat the juicers before we defeat anyone else. Alright. And now defeat this bulldozer. Use barrage on him. And now let's... Wait, that juicer is scared, so I don't think we need to actually... Yeah, that juicer is scared, so I do not think we need to def... So I do not think we need to defeat her. Yeah. Although juicers could be anyone, really, you know. Oh no, you're not, bulldozer. I'll use barrage on ya. What brown? A gun to the face. If you're wondering why in the previous video, the, it, although it was a reckoning floor, if you're wondering why it was not a, if you're wondering why it wasn't a, a laser turret. A laser turret disposer? That is because it's... Yeah, that's because it is... It's not a floor ending with zero. And floors ending with zero actually have... Laser turret... Laser turret carriers as their... As one of their tasks. Blow you up and then we kick you right in the face. Right in there. <laughs> See if we can defeat them with a mystical punch. Or use a portable turret. Or how do I use mystical punch again? Right, I think this increases my strength by far, you know. The right bumper plus... What's it called again? Yeah. The right bumper plus... Right bumper plus B momentum attack. Basically, I think that increases your strength. But I'm not actually too sure what it does, actually. 
because like I said, I'm just playing this game for no reason because I ran out of stuff to play on my channel and that is why. I mean, I do like being a YouTuber, but I'm always running out of ideas, that's why. We'll just knock his shield out of his hand and use Barrage. Oh, he's got the daziness effect. Yeah, I decided to stop talking for that bit on the na 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 You know, just because I like that bit of the song, you know? Yeah, that's probably has to be my favorite bit of the song, actually. I wasn't expected to get any mods from that, no. Hey you, yeah you, come here. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Some of the juices in this game actually look like Jason from the Mario and Space series. The guy who is Jackson's son. Basically, if you do not know the Mario and Space characters from the Mario and Space Sweets Monkey channel, yeah. The Mario and Space series is basically a series where Mario goes into, the, into space and encounters other universes, I think it is. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Just show them down! Yeah, as I was saying, and there are a bunch of characters in Mario and Space from other pop cultures. Yeah, there are, and there are even some... And Adam West, who is the Family Guy mayor, is actually in it. Yeah, but in a video game form, I think. Yeah, it's all set in Gary's mod, if you know what that is. Yeah. Gary's mod. I think it's a game where you play a game you created. I think that's what it is, but I'm not actually too sure. <clears throat> Let's just regenerate. Yeah, and speaking about Jason, he actually had this time where he sung a song... And that's actually my favorite bit, because when he shoots a jet, he he calls to his dad and says, Daddy, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. And then his dad is literally like, shut up. And then Jack, and then Jason's like, no, I'm going to dance. And then he's like, celebration time, come on, woo, yeah. Yeah, I'm just doing my Jason impression. He actually has a quite a high-pitched voice. I was I was actually expecting him, the Sky people in the series, to not have names, actually. <clears throat> yeah, and just be called Sky people. Yeah. They both made a major, a minor cameo in... Yeah, both the characters made a minor cameo in... Only in Part 19, which is the only time they appeared in Chapter 1. Yeah, and that is the only time they appeared in Chapter 1, but they're going to make more appearances in in Chapter 2, or Season 2, or whatever you'd like to call it. Yeah, Jason's probably my favourite character. I don't know why. He's actually quite cool. I don't know why. I actually did it so that he could sing, like, as many songs as I wanted him to sing. I actually wanted him to sing a few other songs, like, I, I actually quite like it if he sung my intro theme. That's if I have an intro theme, that is, which I highly doubt I will. Anyway, we gotta run far away! Oh wait, I'm too far away for the guns to shoot at him. Defeat two enemies at the same time, that's what Barrage calls him for. Right, yeah, we'll do it at least halfway, and then we... Anyway, as I was speaking about the Jason character from MIS... Oh, nice! Two enemies at the same time! Wait, although it said two there. Does it basically just mean I have to defeat two enemies, or two enemies at the same time? Or two, two enemies at the same time twice? I'm not actually too sure. And anyway, speaking about the Mario in Space thing we talked about earlier... I actually really want to see a Mario Plays Gotham Knights video. I would have actually loved it if, if Sweets Monkey did it. So, Reardon, if you're watching, yeah. So, Sweets Monkey, if you're watching, please make a Mario in space. Yeah, so, so Sweets Monkey, if you're watching, please make a Mario in space video where you... Where you have Mario playing Gotham Knights. I'd actually quite like that. Or maybe... Mario in Space Knights, yeah. Maybe that video where Mario gets sucked into Gotham Knights and has to escape and complete the Harley Quinn campaign and all. 
basically the Gotham Knights main story campaign, but with Mario characters. And I'd also put Jason as Jason Todd. I don't know why, but I think it would just it would just suit him very well. And also, I think Jason would just be there for laughs, you know. Right, let's see if we can repair this console quickly. No. Let's induce our fear status. No, I don't think so. Right, so that's one of the gen rays down. Now we gotta do the other two. Let's just activate this one real quick. Boop, beep, bop, boop, bop. You stay away from here. Yeah, I, I agree. They totally suck at it. They should improve. The freaks should improve, I mean, not anyone else. Except for the enemies, that is. Yeah, so what I'm doing is actually quite high IQ play, as I like to call it. I'm actually moving around and trying to activate or activate one console at a time yeah you know just so i get the job done quickly see if i can activate this one here all right and i and fingers crossed that i'm gonna get the one up here done in one more click or one more button all that is How many more enemies are there left to defeat? Oh, only 10. I thought it was going to be a lot more, like a massive horde of enemies, if you get what I mean. Yeah, massive horde of enemies were going to approach me and try to kill me right there. I don't think we need to defeat the juicers first, assuming as I highly doubt they're going to put down that reviving gas. It's a shame Joker's not in this game. If there were two characters I'd put in this game, it would probably have to be the Joker and Damian Wayne. I actually quite like to see them in this game, actually. Yeah, I think they do good in the story campaign. But because I think of what happens to Batman in this game, I don't think he and Talia were able to make Damian. No, I highly doubt that. But I'm not telling you exactly what happened to Batman. Simple reason. Spoilers. We gotta run fast through here. I kind of wish there was a character in this game that had all the abilities of all the knights. I think... I think Damien would be able to take that place as having all the abilities. Let's just break his shield and use barrage on him. Boom! Looky! This guy got a cookie! Just shoot him right in the face! Oh, switch right now, you will? Oh, I don't think so. Wait, I thought that was a uh, faction leader then. Luckily, there are only four faction leaders. Although I could possibly defeat more, but you know, I don't. I do not want to. I don't want to make the videos too long. That's why. Oh, nice! Right in there. That's that juicer defeated. Now we gotta run far away. Oh no, you don't. But anyway, I'll leave a link in the description for the My Own Space video I was thinking about whilst watching this, whilst recording this. Yeah. The My Own Space video, episode 19, Sky Fire. Yeah, I'll leave a link in the description for that. Anyway, shout out to Sweets Monkey. I'll leave a link in the description for his channel if you want to go ahead and subscribe to him. Oh, I thought that was all the faction leaders, but we apparently got one more left to deal with. What brown? Yeah, anyway, as I was saying, big shout out to Sweets Monkey. He's actually... He, this video is actually sponsored by him. Yeah, so massive shout to Sweets Monkey. I'll leave a link in the description for his channel and also another link in the description for the Mario and Space video that I just mentioned. Which is Season 1, Episode 19, aka Skyfire. Because that's the first episode where we get Jason, I think. Yeah, Jason and Jackson, the Sun family, the Sky family. Completed Floor 16. Alright, so. Did about the same amount of ranged and elemental damage. Deal. Dealt. Yeah. 
But anyway, guys, so like that, I am going to end the video here. If you at any point enjoyed, which I hope you did, or if you'd like to see this series continue, which I hope you do, then do consider dropping a like on this video. And also, if this is your first time watching the channel, do consider subscribing and turning on all the notifications if you have not done so already, so that you cannot miss my future uploads on this game. Which is going to be every weekday at 3pm British time and subscribing is a brilliant way to help me reach 200 subscribers. Which I very much appreciate seeing as that's my next sub goal. And also in case you forgot, only 10% of you who watch my vids are actually subscribed. And if you are part of the 90% that is not, make sure you subscribe so you can become, so you can become part of the 10% that is. It'll really help me out a ton. I was just struggling to say it then, so if you're part of the 90% that's not subscribed, subscribe to become part of the 10% that is. But anyway, I shall see y'all in the next video where we'll be playing Floor 17, which is our 5th Freaks Floor. No, 5th Regulators Floor, actually. And also... And also our... Yeah, and also our... 5th Nightwing Floor, actually, yeah. But anyway, I shall see y'all then. Goodbye. Have a great day. Have fun and stay safe.